Hello everybody, this is a quick unboxing video of the new uh, the new Zircon Super Scan tool. Now this this specific version the M1 features the Super Scan, uh, the Super Scan target control technology that's um, uh, really interesting and new new stuff from Zircon. Previous versions didn't have that. Uh, didn't have that. Like, for example, this this version, the HD70. This one has the deep scan. This does not have a deep scan, but at the same time, it's conceptually different from um, from the older version. Um, in what ways, you would ask? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, the main the main point of the target control design is to be able to uh, for you to allow you to focus more on finding finding studs finding where to place your your screws not nothing more nothing 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 less uh, but let's see the different versions the the m1 has the target control and stud scan uh, basically what it allows you is to find to find um, a wall, wall stud through just typical drywall. It wouldn't work on lath, it wouldn't work on uh, you know popcorn ceiling, stuff like that. It, it just works on a typical drywall and very precisely at that. The M2 version is the deep scan. M2, M1 doesn't have the deep scan. M2 has the deep scan version where it would allow you to pinpoint uh, um, to precisely pinpoint uh, wall stud through inch, if I'm not mistaken, through inch and a half. Yeah, up to one and a half inches. Focus. I'm not sure why it can focus. Up to one and a half inches deep. One and a half inches is quite a lot. I'm not sure what's the application for that other than you know, if you have insulation over the walls and you want to cross to bridge that insulation with um, a screw or something, this version does have the deep scan, and the deep scan works just by pressing it one, two, start, and then press it again, and it goes into deep scan. Um, this doesn't have the deep scan, but it has the uh, the target control. Um, press it one, once target control is engaged, release and press again, and it is it is off. Um, if you see that uh, the display not lit at the back, it is off. Um, how it is different? Um, this one. The older version has um, calibrates a little bit slower. This takes three to four seconds to calibrate precisely, and then it is very fast, very fast in finding finding studs. This one calibrates much faster uh, within a couple of seconds, uh, not more than one to two seconds. It calibrates faster. But then you have to move it, move it slowly. The older version wouldn't wouldn't show when you're cal cal calibrating it incorrectly over stud. Um, but this and it will just give you a false reading, or it would just don't make sense if you know what I mean. Um, and then you will have to to redo the entire cycle again. This one would clearly indicate with two arrows on two sides that um, uh, that you didn't calibrate it correctly. However, if you calibrate correctly, this one will show you much faster compared to um, uh, to the target control. The older version would show stunts within the walls much faster than they would be shown um, on the target control. At the same time, the target control is more precise when it comes to um, the protection plates on the uh, protection plates, metal plates on the uh, on the joist. So it will always find you uh, a clean wood stud where to put your uh, screws in. This one, this one would not differentiate between metal 
metal cover on the stud and uh, and not both would show you cables inside the walls uh, whether uh, energized cables energized lines within the walls uh, and um, basically what they do with this one is make the entire process of finding finding where to where to place that um, um, where to place your screws a little bit better um, this is level one what else it has a nice feature here with the um, uh, with the QR code where it will show you additional additional information uh, if you need so uh, this is just a smooth uh, smooth plastic uh, it is not the felt that we can find on others on other versions let's see how it works so that's a typical typical drywall we have um, sewer here we have edge of the door here and somewhere here we have a stud so how we are finding it with with the previous versions is just calibrate move over very fast shows very fast precise location and it could be fast as well calibrate and then you have to move a little bit slower but it shows somehow it shows the edges a little bit more precisely uh, especially if you were if you're too fast um, it would allow you on several passes to to identify where the uh, the actual edges to the stud are and that would that would be uh, really helpful when you need to uh, when you need to establish what is the gap between the different studs um, it is a very precise um, it is definitely more precise than the older version uh, it has different advantages though so I'm releasing and I'm pressing again and that's with the target control off so basically it would show any stud here regardless now if it had a metal plate it would have this reading uh, but with the target control it won't show anything because that would be your indication that you can't drill there it's it's definitely louder than the the older versions the older versions were very discreet and yeah and very unobtrusive and this one is the new one is a little bit different so now I'm calibrating it over a stud and you see it also has some kind of reading that shows me that I didn't calibrate it correctly but then you see how it doesn't make sense now it flashes in and out and that's your indication that something is wrong with uh, the Zircon M1 if you calibrate it over a stud once you move it a little bit no, I pressed it twice by accident. So if you move it a little bit, it would maybe I'm not doing that right. It would show two arrows here and here, and that would be your indication that you you miscalibrated it like this. When you have those two arrows, that would mean that you miscalibrated it. Um, basically, it's a very good tool. Hold on a second. Basically, it's a very good tool, uh, very precise, very precise in showing um, in, in in showing the edges of a stud, finding a finding a stud most of all, and being able to filter out places of that stud that you won't be able to you won't be able to drill, like metal protection plates and stuff like that. Um, they have other versions um, M2, M3, M4, M3 is for uh, more for uh, for plumbers that um, need to filter out um, 
you know, ferrous, non-ferrous plumbing, and for is for electricians. Now, the boat would now all of those would be shown on the on the M1 as well with the target control. Uh, they would show energized power lines and so on. And maybe M4 is more precise in showing in showing power lines, unshielded AC wires up to two inches deep. deep. Um, so it's interesting new series. So I definitely like that. Um, definitely love that new design. It's a little bit heavier. It's a little bit heavier than the old version. Um, I know I shouldn't do that, especially when they're plugged in. A little bit bigger, beefier. It comes with the battery with a nice within a nice clamshell packaging, and that comes in another box. So online ordering is definitely is definitely an option. Thanks for watching. Bye.